Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. So as many of you guys know, I have a bit of a camera backpack obsession. I've done multiple reviews of different camera backpacks here on the channel, and I'm always looking for the next best camera bag to join me on my travels. As a travel photographer, I need a backpack that can not only safely transport a large amount of gear, but do so in a way that's comfortable, convenient, stylish, and is suited for both urban and outdoor adventure. I've used a lot of great camera backpacks over the years, but I always feel like there's something missing. You know, nothing is ever quite what I need. That was until I got my hands on the Shimoda Explorer 40, a bag that I've been using heavily over the last three months. During this time, I've done a ton of traveling. I've gone to the tropical beaches of the Philippines and then all the way up to the alpine zones of Yosemite, um, as well as the urban streets of New York City. I've really put this bag through its paces during that time and I feel like I have a really good understanding of what it's capable of. Without spoiling too much, the Shimoda Explorer 40 might just be one of my favorite travel photography backpacks of all time and I'm super excited to share it with you guys today. With that said guys, let's jump into this review and check out the Shimoda Explore 40 liter bag. The Shimoda Explore 40 was definitely made with the adventure photographer in mind. The photographer who isn't afraid to push the boundaries of outdoor and urban life, and the photographer who is willing to do whatever it takes to get the shot they've envisioned. Visually, the Shimoda Explore 40 reflects its active driven principles. The sleek yet rugged look of the bag was designed with practicality in mind. Tactical straps surround the backpack giving it the ability to hold extra gear that won't fit inside such as a tripod, sleeping bag, or even a small tent. Thick and adjustable shoulder and waist straps allow the bag to hold a considerable amount of weight without breaking your back and also contain several quick access pockets for items you might need on the fly. Water resistant material makes it suitable for wet environments and the optional waterproof shell takes this backpack from a weekend hiker to a full blown adventure bag. In terms of capacity, the Shimoda Explore 40 utilizes a modular system that can be customized to your needs. Three separate entry points provide access to the main compartment where the core units are housed. There are multiple sizes of core units to select from, but I utilize the medium and small core units together to create one large unit. This allows me to transport large amounts of gear, including two camera bodies, several lenses, a drone, and other essential gear. If I don't need to bring as much gear, I can always take one of these core units out. Behind the main entrance point on the back of the bag is a laptop holder, which can hold up to a 15 inch MacBook Pro. A large protected compartment on the top of the bag can be used for smaller and more delicate items such as phones, chargers, passports, and other essentials that you might need on the fly. This compartment is also big enough for a drone or other larger items that you might need to access quickly. One last large compartment sits on the front of the bag and stretches all the way from the top to the bottom of the bag. This compartment is great for holding clothes, documents, or even a folded gimbal. From a capacity standpoint, the Shimoda meets the criteria for what most adventure photographers require, but plenty of other bags do that as well. The true beauty of the Shimoda lies in its ability to transport large amounts of gear in a way that is comfortable and safe. My biggest issue with most bags isn't a lack of storage, but rather improper weight distribution leading to back and shoulder pain. The Shimoda has a metal frame that gives it incredible stability under weight. Not only does this aid considerably in weight distribution of the bag, but it adds an extra layer of protection for your gear. Although it's not a full-blown Pelican case, this bag can certainly take some blows thanks to this feature. This is something that I cannot say about the in-case and wondered backpacks that I've used in the past. Of course, no bag is perfect and the Shimoda is no exception to that and I do want to take a second to cover some of the things that I've not been a huge fan of with the Shimoda Explore 40. There aren't many, but they are definitely worth noting. First things first, I wish that the waist straps were removable. I don't usually mind them because I'm often carrying a lot of weight and they really come in handy with a weight distribution, but when I don't have the bag loaded up, I wish that the bag could be a little bit smaller of a profile and that would definitely be possible if the waist straps were removable. It's also nice to be able to hide them if I'm trying to get on an airplane and I don't want them to weigh my backpack on a budget airline. Being able to hide those waist straps makes the bag have a much smaller profile and thus it is less likely to be weighed if you're getting on an airplane and they are weighing uh, bags at the check-in. 
And second, I'm not a huge fan of the laptop holder in the back of the bag. I like the placement of it, but it's not easy to get my 15 inch MacBook Pro in and out, which isn't usually an issue, but when I'm at airport security and I wanna just slide it back into my bag, it's not that easy. I actually have to unzip the compartment completely in order to slide it in because sometimes it gets caught on the fabric and it just doesn't wanna fit in perfectly. This could be fixed by potentially making it a little bit larger or by adding a small metal rim along this piece to allow you to easily slide your laptop in without getting caught on the edges of the fabric. So it is worth noting that Shimoda recently launched their Action X bag, which did improve upon some of these features, including having removable waist straps and a more waterproof design. I haven't gotten my hands on this bag yet, but speaking to the Shimoda brand as a whole, I think the Shimoda 40 really goes to show what the brand is capable of in terms of producing a truly quality product that listens to the wants and needs of travel photographers. As I said before, I've done a ton of traveling in the past three months and I've really put this bag through its paces. And I can honestly say that out of all the camera bags I've used in the past few years, the Shimoda Explore 40 is definitely my favorite and I'm super excited to see what Shimoda comes out with in the future. Anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. If you've used the bag in the past and you have some extra comments, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. I wanna open up a discussion so we can talk about your thoughts on the bag, your view on the bag, so other people can see that when they're considering buying this bag versus another bag. Or if you've used another camera bag that you'd like to see reviewed or another bag that you could recommend, feel free to add that in the comments as well. Thanks again for watching guys. I'll see you very soon. I hope you have an absolutely epic day.